Welcome back to the channel folks. On today's video we're looking at the motorcycle tracker from SZA and can motorcycle trackers be a deterrent? So we'll, uh, we'll have a look into the product and tell you all about it. We'll fit the product and take it out for a test. Now if you're not a subscriber to the channel folks make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Now the kind folks at SZA have sent me their latest tracker this is a 4G two-wire tracker that actually connects directly onto your battery. And what we're going to do, we're going to fit this onto our Triumph Bonneville. I'm going to take you through the fitting and also through the app and the features that this tracker has. Now it also has an internal battery which will allow it to work up to three hours after someone disconnects it from a battery. And is also IP67 waterproof rated. Now a couple of features on this product. You can see all of the routes that you've done with this device on the bike. You can also check on the app to see where your motorcycle is in real time. Now I find this a huge benefit if I'm in a city I don't know and I've parked in a car park where I'm unsure where I've parked my bike after I've done what I need to do at the end of the day. At least I can find my way back to the bike. It monitors and shows your battery level on your bike at all times so that's great if you're just about to go out for a ride say the night before and you want to make sure that your battery is topped up and uh, up to its optimal setting to start the bike next day. That's one way of double checking. Now it monitors for movement, so if someone was to rock your bike or just move your bike uh, while you're at a hotel, if you're touring or anything like that, then you'll get a notification through on your mobile phone also. If you hit something or have a crash, you can actually set it so that it calls a specific number on your phone, uh, whether that be your partner as well, to let them know you've had a crash. And also if somebody disconnects this from your motorcycle once they've stolen it, then it will give you a notification. And also remember that the battery will continue working for three hours after it's disconnected. Now it records your routes and also you can share these with your friends via social media. There's an events and trip planner also built into the app. Now onto the price. There are lots of trackers out there on the market that you have to pay a subscription to and a yearly fee. Those can be quite expensive, as I found out in the past on other trackers that I've had for my bikes. With the SysApp device, it's a one-off payment, and that's £245. Fit it onto your motorcycle, you've not got to worry about batteries running out or replacing batteries over time. It's a one-time payment. You don't have to pay a monthly or a yearly subscription. Another feature on this is you can use geofencing, so you could uh, geofence, say, your garden or, or your house. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, because if someone moves the bike in your garden, then perhaps you wouldn't get a notification, but it doesn't have that feature. Now, Sysapp were kind enough to send me this device. I've not paid for it. Uh, it's just my honest opinion of what I think of this device. I've used some trackers before, and I've heard good things about Sysapp trackers, so I wanted to give it a try. So I reached out to them, and they kindly sent me their latest unit. Okay, so let's go out and fit this to the Triumph Bonneville. Show you how easy it is to set up, and also how easy it is to use the app. Now, on fitting the Sysapp to the motorcycle, First I need to take the seat off. So the seat is removed and what I've done, there's two wires to the SysApp. Basically one wire to the plus, one wire to the negative. It's fused and just for now I'm going to look for somewhere else to put it out the way. But I've actually put it just behind the side panel, just under here. So if I pull the side panel off, just there, you'll see that the SysApp is just in the side there. Literally two wires onto your battery and then it's activated through the app. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just go into the app. I'm recording this on screen, so I'll put it on screen just now. What it has on the screen, you've got your voltmeter on the top left, 13.2 volts, that's showing the, uh, the live voltage from the battery. Top right you've got the temperature, so it's 6 degrees now. Both these are really good features that I like because A, I can monitor my battery, make sure it's okay before I take it out for a ride, and uh, also I can check the temperature that it uh, is in the garage. Obviously similar to outside temperatures in my garage, but if it's uh, down towards zero, there's no way I'm taking the bike out. You have on here a map, so if I click on the map just now, you can see we've come down from Lancaster, we've been all the way down to Blackburn to have the bike serviced and then we're back up near Scorton just now. 
So if I click on notifications, it shows me all of my notifications uh, on here. You can actually see I set off from home. I think I arrived at the dealership at 9.51. Uh, they moved it into the workshop at 11.10. Again, they've moved the bike at 12.06, 12.15, 12.38. And then uh, I picked the bike up off them at about 12.46. You can configure the notifications on here as well for low battery. It'll send you an SMS if you click on it. A crash, a hit, device unplugged. Don't forget you've got a three hour remaining battery time if the device is disconnected from your battery or if your vehicle is being towed away and you can save those settings if you want. Also, if you wanted to find your motorcycle, you have a feature here. I find this very useful if I'm in a city that I don't know or if I've traveled somewhere. Maybe I'm on a European trip and I've parked my bike in a car park in a town or a car park anywhere in the town and I want to get back to the bike and I've forgotten the way back. I can just click here, find. It'll go on to uh, Google Maps and then you can literally click start and then it'll take you back towards your bike. So uh, that's a good feature also. Another feature, it shows your maximum speed as well. Uh, maximum speed of the day, average speed of the day. You can share that if you want. Why you would want to do that, I've no idea. Okay, so that's the SIS app. That's the, uh, the tracker device that I've put onto the Bonneville. And it's just another way to protect your motorcycle from thieves. Is it a deterrent? Well, they don't know that the tracker is on there. Um, for me, it's a must. I have a garage that's in a, uh, a garden, fenced off garden area with gates that are locked. So if someone was to break into my garage and actually move the motorcycle, then basically I get a notification on my phone and also on my smartwatch while I was sleeping, which would wake me up. And uh, after that, they'd have to get through chains and locks and everything and then try and get out of the fence garden. So for me, well worth it. Um, the price of the tracker, it's a one-off payment. You don't have to keep paying a subscription or anything like that. So once you bought the unit, it's on and it's there. It's always connected to the battery, so you don't have to replace any batteries in this device. So yeah, there's the Bonneville with the SysApp device fitted. Go and check them out. I'll pop a link in the description below. And also with Moto UK promo code, you get 10% off currently. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. And uh, we'll catch you on another video soon. Take care. Cheers.